Every time that I start filming on this thing, I have good lighting until I hit the video camera. I'm not as tech savvy as I thought. So, tonight I am reflecting on some things. I am, um, as I think I went over last time, I had a little lapse in employment. Well, I had a lapse in working at my job because I was in need of switching shifts and I wasn't sure they could accommodate that. Turns out they were able to, but now I'm not sure if I can accommodate them because of my kids busing and stuff like that. And, oh, excuse me, because of uh, the weekend thing where I have nobody that is, you know, up for the task of watching for crazy kids, which I get, you know, I'm not, I'm not bummed that I can't. Like, I have a lot of support, but, you know, I have four kids, and they're very young, and, you know, my support ranges from, like, my grandmother to friends or family of mine that already have kids of their own. So you add those kids to my kids, and then you've got, like, a small army. Well, my kids are a small army already. You add, like, more kids, it's like a platoon. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I mean, I get it. Like, I mean, I, I'm not, like, I could understand if I had one kid. And people wouldn't jump at watching them. But, like, uh, when I had one kid, I had family members all over the place watching Callie. Loved, you know, helping out. And my grandmother, she really, you know, she's been a joy. She's been, her and I have not had the best, smoothest of relationship but this past two years. But she's really stepped forward in helping me out. Like, she comes here and keeps me company um, when I need it. But, she, you know, and I appreciate somebody saying that they... Don't they don't feel like they can handle all four kids at once? Um, I'd rather somebody say that than show up at my house, take on the task, and then I come home to a crisis. So, you know, I appreciate honesty like that. Does it? Um, you know, and plus, to be quite frankly, like I get nervous leaving my kids with just about anybody, um, because it turns out that you know you never know what's gonna go on. You never know. I mean, they're crazy kids. And, uh, yeah, so, I am just, uh, trying to think of, like, the best course of action for me. I don't know. I'm sorry about this awkward lampshade shadowing. It's like a teeth. Yeah. Um, but I just want to be clear that, like, I really, you know, I'm not one of those moms that wants to, I, I, I don't know. I want to stay home with my kids, but I really got like a second wind in life by working. And it's been so long since I was working that it really felt good. And I felt like I was regaining some bit of myself. And I really don't want to lose that. Like, I really want to just keep at it. Oh. So I'm excited. I am excited to try to make this work. Hopefully my job's willing to further work, for, work with me. If not, I can sure find another job. I'm sure I can, just maybe not right away. And I have a car payment and rent due, and you know, it is the season for debt, right? But, you know, at least their Christmas is all set. So I am excited for them for Christmas. My hair is a mess. This is post gym stuck in a head wrappy thing hair. So I uh I um I, yeah, I went to the gym today. Sorry, spacing out. I went to the gym. Um I had a meeting with a social worker today. Yay. I love dealing with them. Um, but it wasn't all bad because they brought some uh some presents that they had, um, for the kids. Which was really sweet. So that was cool. Um, so, you know, uh, pretty, pretty solid day. Not a bad day. I enjoyed, uh, going to the gym. I hadn't, go, I hadn't been in like a week and I, um, I, I did like a little mini dance party with the kids last night, like I talked about, and incorporate, and I put in some squatting. To that dance, like I was like squatting and 
trying to like work out while dancing because I you know don't really dance but like I was just kind of like moving around with the kids and actually doing squats and I had really stiff legs today so rolling to the gym was really hard because my favorite thing to do there is the elliptical because I just really like that I like how you can control the pace and I like the variety of workouts that they offer and I loved it though like I, I did really well on it today and I get I'm starting to actually feel the burn, as they say. At the first couple of times I went, I didn't feel like I was doing anything, and it was really discouraging. So then I would force myself, and then I would be in extra pain, like, three days later, because I was, like, getting aggravated with not feeling, like, instant pain when I was there. But, you know, the gym thing is, it's easy for me to work out, but it's not easy for me to control mm, bad eating habits. Like, ah, uh, look at this. Yeah, I had three of those suckers today, and it was a total, like, splurge, because I was going through the cabinets to actually look for, uh, I don't remember what I was looking for, but I was looking for something <clears throat> dinner-related, and ingredient-wise, and I, and I forgot that I had bought a box of those, like, a while back, and I totally forgot about it. So, three devil dogs does not erase one gym day, right? Because I, I, I kicked some ass at the gym today. I'm pretty proud of myself. But now I'm gonna go. I just wanted to update this thing. And I gotta go because Dylan is sick and not feeling so hot. And I gotta do some, like, thinking in, in, in terms of the job scenario and, you know, do some adult thinking for the night. So I'm really kind of trying to wrap my head around what to do I don't want you know I really don't want to I don't like to half-ass things I don't want to go to this job tomorrow and then come to disappoint them because I can't make my schedule work you know and just not show up like the next day or like the next week I don't you know I'd rather just cut it clean and be like you know sorry it's not gonna work but I figure I go there tomorrow and see how it goes and maybe talk to somebody okay well Dylan is crying so I will update this later